Welcome to the Grumpy Monkey 800, where this go around we will be testing the finest college cars for $800. This challenge will include a budget purchase and repair segment, a cargo slash dorm room move-in test, a zero to 60 to zero test, and a scavenger hunt with some extra surprises. We're your host, I'm Andrew. I'm Brandon. And up first, we're going to be giving away some cars to get this challenge started. We're going to be giving away the challenge cars to our challengers. We're going to be drawing names out of a hubcap to keep it fair and square. They're going to be getting random cars. We go live to the field now. Andrew, how's it looking down there? Yep, and we are live here at the scene of the Grumpy Monkey 800. We're about to give our competitors their cars. It's really exciting. We've got our teams here behind us. We're about to start the Rock, Paper, Scissors com competition to be able to give them out for who gets the first draw. So we're gonna be starting that now. So, all right, guys, we're gonna start the Rock, Paper, Scissors. So who's the driver for each vehicle? And then we're gonna come up and do Rock, Paper, Scissors. So we'll start with Rob's Garage and representing Grumpy Monkey Raven here. Rock, Paper, Scissors, who gets to go first? Winner has to compete against Scott. You ready? All right, Scott. Let's sit your <laughs> thing. The rock paper scissors champion. Connoisseur of the sport. 2023. Ready? <laughs> you do a one, two, three, and. Yep, one, two, three, and then uh, go. Right. Ready? One, two, three. All right, do it again. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is getting very strange. Oh, this has never happened before it. on set. <laughs> so now we have Shut all up. three names of the cars picked out in here. <clears throat> We're going to be giving Scott his car. You get Rudy. Oh, well that's Rudy. Rudy is a 1996 Toyota Camry. There you go. Nice. There are the keys to Rudy. That is car number one. So if you'll pull the cover off car number one, we'll get you a shot of it. So I have one Rudy here. It's already been pre-named. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, it's a cream puff. I like the pine cones. What tree did you pull this thing out from? It was a swamp. All right, <laughs> all right. So, contested Scott. I dig it. How do you feel about your 1996 Toyota Camry? I like the Bluetooth door handle. That's it definitely Wi-Fi controlled. Tinted windows so I can't be seen in it. I'm digging it, yeah. Go ahead and pop the interior, it's, have a gander. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, we got the premium leather. Let's check. Oh, 189,000 miles, y'all. Get in on yours because there's no handle. Oh, okay. This reminds me of my grandfather. <laughs> it did. You can't grab it. We're gonna do this a lot. <laughs> All right. There. Oh my God. Hey, hey, you know, start it up and see what, take see what you've got. All right. <laughs> the catalytic converter has been, the catalytic converter has been pre stole Nope. It's there. No. All right. It's a complete car. This car costs $400, so your remaining budget <laughs> is $400. It runs. It Let's does. See. See it's also it doing an excellent mosquito delete. All right, so I've just uh, seen my car, which is a 90-something Toyota Camry, four-cylinder. Actually better than expected. The interior doesn't stink too bad. It's gonna need a whole shelf of parts store liquids for the motor. I think we got this in the bag. Yeah. I'm gonna fix the door handles, of course, and a few things. Yeah, um, lots of vanilla and cheetah print. <laughs> oh yep. my goodness. Tinted windows, yeah. Our next draw is for Rob of Rob's Garage. We've only got two left, it's pretty easy. Rob, you're bigger than Raven. You get the big one. Oh. So how do you wanna play this one? What did you win, Rob? Jerry. Jerry was a race car driver. Car number two is for you, sir. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Look at the patina on this thing. I would like to suggest that the Rain-X wipers <laughs> are worth more than the entire car. Oh my lord. I'm gonna have to use bleach on this. Now, I don't actually have the keys for this one. I believe they're still inside of it. <sighs> it's got a 
pine tree in it, it looks like. We'll see if, uh, let's see how this, uh, this one fires up. There's three Honda keys. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. That's Only not one it. turns the ignition. Which one? Nobody knows. There it is. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Doesn't start. There's 50 bucks right there. <laughs> we have inherited by rock, paper, scissors, a 90 something Honda Accord. Um, First problem, it won't start. We found a better, better hold down, so that's good. Um, God knows what else is wrong with it other than every single fluid on it is leaking outside, externally. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to put a battery in it and see what see what happens, see if this thing actually fires up or not. Um, Chris, initial thoughts? Just gotta wait till it fires up. I mean, they run pretty good. I love the smell of the interior. Oh yeah. It's as bad as those, but yeah. Yeah, we did notice it does, it does have the original spare tire and jack and lug nut, lug nut wrench. So that's uh, that's good. That's good. We may have to use that on this piece of yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> Team Grumpy Monkey, come up and get the last car. Shame on you both for having us go last. Your car's name. is Duke. Here are the keys to Duke. Let's see what we've got. Hell yeah. Duke is a 1998 Toyota Corolla, or 99, excuse me, 99 Toyota Corolla. It's got some interior problems. That doesn't open. That doesn't open. This is a, uh... This is gonna be fun in hot days. That's not important. That's not important? That looks like a lock. That looks like a lock. That's a tumble. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun putting that back. It's gonna open. Oh. Turn, turn it over. The battery works. Oh yeah. Not bad. Got AC, we got a bougie ass radio. It works! All right, we got a 99 Toyota Corolla. Um, she's cute. She's okay. This is something you'd see on college campus. I doubt it would be that difficult to work on. I mean, it fired right up, um, you know, per usual. The interior is awful, though. It is torn to shreds. Like, the ceiling is just torn. Um, but I do like the remnants of the 90s print on the seats. It's pretty cute. Trunk doesn't open, neither does the glove box. So that'll be a fun surprise. Oh, yeah. We'll cut that right open. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts? Mm, I think ours actually runs, so I am very confident in getting there. As long as you can drive really well, I can navigate, we'll do great. Oh yeah, I think we'll win. Oh, I know. Why, because I'm I a know. woman? Is it because I'm a woman, Rob? <gasps> okay, so everybody's been given their cars. They're gonna have about a month to fix these cars up to compete in the Grumpy Monkey 800. So on that note, back to you in the studio, Andrew. All right, well, I think those are some pretty good cars we've got for the competition coming up. Yeah, right. I, where, I, the, they, where, where, where did you find this stuff? Uh, lots of junkyards and behind barns. Yeah, I can believe I, that. I, I <laughs> probably drove by a couple of them on you, my way back and forth. You probably saw them in the back of a few flatbeds. <laughs> yeah, uh, coming from Copart, uh, 100%. Mexican transporter. So, uh, these guys are going to have a month to fix up their cars. Now, of course, Team Grumpy Monkey's got the Corolla. Um, looks like the trunk doesn't open. And... Well, what do you need the trunk for unless you're carrying an ice chest full of cold ones? Well, that might very well be well, one of the upcoming challenges. Well, it's a college challenges. challenge, yeah. Exactly, so yeah, yeah. they might need that soon. So, uh, But they've got a month, a whole section of four weekends to be able to work on these cars and get them running. I like I like Team Scott and Laura. They've got the Mosquito Delete Kit Well, installed. you know, That's they can pick good. up some extra money from some of the communities around, you know, to there do that. There you go, mosquito. absolutely. Yeah. Just pest control built in, very good. Yeah, very you good. know, buy parts. I, I think that uh, Team Rob there, they're, uh, they're the Honda's good. pretty bad. It's, uh, it's yeah, pretty bad. Jerry's uh, got some issues. He, that did not sound healthy when it started. So no. he's got a lot of obstacles to overcome. There's a hand grenade in that car somewhere. <laughs> just pull it, push it, right? Just yeah, go ahead and get rid of it. It's already strapped. It's just somebody's got to open the right compartment. There you go. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, in the magic of TV editing, it's been a month from now. Let's check back in with our contestants. I'll be a little older. Me too. <laughs>
Well, this was our box that we were going to drive, but I'll let Rob tell you about it. <laughs> nice handoff. I appreciate that. Well, uh, we, uh, we took her out for a test drive and uh, this is what happened. All right, there's 40. I'm excited. I'm a little excited. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> come on. It's 44. Oh, it's so close. Oh, God, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, it's 44. I, I can't get the 45. Oh, <laughs> God. She can go back down to zero. I know. Oh, she died. Oh, no. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> that sounded expensive. So this is our new uh, contest car, our not so much POS, and uh, Chris is gonna tell you about it. Um, it's just a green Honda. <laughs> I actually don't know much about this one. Uh, well, we actually didn't have to do a whole lot to it. The, uh, the reason why it was sold so cheap was because the uh, CV axle on the passenger side was snapped, actually in half. There was actually two, three individual pieces. Um, the joints came completely apart, so put a passenger side CV axle in it and a lower ball joint, and we're gonna send it. This and check the fluids and done nothing. This is gonna be the car to beat though. Oh yeah. My name's Scott. And I'm Laura. We have a 90 something Camry. And uh, when I first drew this car, I got kind of excited because I seen brand new front tires on it, which kind of showed that somebody cared about this car at some point in time. But after starting the car up, we quickly figured out that somebody did not. But uh, it, uh, it smoked like crazy. But uh, after looking at it further, it uh, needed the whole motor replaced. Had water in the oil, which can be common with a head gasket problem. Not a big deal, but uh, it's very rarely that there was oil in the water and a lot of it. So that has been remedied um, after fixing the rear main seal, after getting the motor put in. So it runs now. I don't, I don't think it's been driven down the road much, but uh, we're sure gonna find out. Um, I, I definitely think that his ability as a driver and his mechanical knowledge are gonna work to our advantage. Of course, you know, I think we stand a hell of a chance. I'm known as a zip tie uh, technician, so. Uh, if it can be fixed at all with zip tie, bubble gum, duct tape, it, we got this. We got it. It's a pretty good little car, although the you know beauty of it is not there anymore. But the engine seemed fine. It runs fine. We just put we put a fuel pump in it. We put all four struts on it because two of them were you know in like multiple pieces, um, and all brakes and we fixed power steering. And is there anything else? Door. Oh, door handles. door handles. We can get in and out of the car now. And uh, we did a DIY project on the trunk because there's no lock for it. She did most of the work on it, but true. I did the struts, but that was about it. I think we'll win just because they've had to do so much work on it and they're both over budget, but I think we're the only car that's still under budget um, and it drives fine. I think the Honda's definitely probably has some electrical issues. The, the Toyota is probably our biggest competitor, but I definitely think we have it in the bag. Well, I think those cars came out pretty good, given what we just saw a few minutes ago. Yeah, well, if you're in the scrap business or the record business, maybe. <laughs> uh, I, I think they really had a lot of improvement. I'm glad to see the engine swap in that Camry. That was quite the smoke show. And now it's, it's really not. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, well, I mean, what? It takes four bolts, a couple of zip ties, and an engine lift. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little more than that, but yeah, they definitely, we got a new engine in that one, and then the uh, the Corolla, um, it looks like they figured out some sort of art project to get the, the trunk open. That's well, the, the Corolla, I really feel, is probably a very strong competitor right now. The, the team uh, with the Corolla has got some good sound uh, uh, experience. The Corolla is a sound platform, and you know, unless somebody steals a transmission out of it, you can run it for a long time. Yeah, I think you can. Now, uh, Team Rob. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, so for point values, we were able to part out and scrap the white Honda there, and that is going to be added back to his budget, which was then turned around and used to purchase the green Honda. And all that was done in a weekend because a um, panic. I, be I believe you ended up with a little extra change so you could buy a new, uh, propane tank for the barbecue grill too. 
uh, something like that. So uh, he's definitely in a new car. I don't think we're going to count it against him. That was definitely a bad buy. That first Honda is the well, big you, poopy energy on that one. Well, you know, it's just like NASCAR. You always have a second car in the trailer. That's a, that's a good point, a backup car. Maybe we'll do that for future, uh, future challenges as well. But anyway, so now we're ready to get into the challenges. Now, the challenges, as we said before, are going to be ranked as a first, second, and third place uh, event. So you're going to have uh, 30 points for first place, 20 points for second place, and 10 points for third place. Uh, and the first challenge is the first thing you do when you move to college, which is going to be loading up all your crap from your mom's basement into your car. And because everyone procrastinates in college, you're only going to have 90 seconds to load the vehicles. And everybody's going to only get to look at their items and load them for that 90 seconds. And I'm really excited to see how these guys have worked and learned their cars, how well they work in putting stuff in them. I'm pretty excited to see that. Well, me too, because when that was my time, it took me more than that just to figure out where my car was parked. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on to the next segment. I think we're about to start now. Let's see what's happening next. Hoorah. Yep, and we're live here at the Grumpy Monkey 800 for the competitors who have completed their cars now, and we're about to begin the first challenge now. It looks like Team Rob has drawn first to go for the load-up challenge, getting ready to load our items to head to our dorm, so let's get started right away. Team Rob, get your keys and go to your car. <laughs> that's yours. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> when we turned the corner and I saw the the purple dildo, I was like, yeah, oh, you know, that's to be expected. You know, I kind of saw that coming. You know, I was like, surprised we didn't see it on there sooner. First thing I saw was the dildo in the windshield, and that was pretty hilarious. But uh, the part that got me was uh, we opened up the doors. We saw the little bit of glitter throughout the floorboard. A little bit of glitter. Okay. All right. That's cute. But I was like, huh, that's a, that's a weak job if somebody decided to prank us that way. And, you know, we kind of sat in the car and uh, fired it up and... There it is. Oh, <laughs> very nice. That is okay. Oh. The amount of glitter that came out of the dash, I was, I was very surprised at that. I couldn't believe how much she stuffed down into those vents. Yes, it was, it was very impressive. I was, I was like, this, this is a good, that's a good prank. That's a good prank. Oh that was good. That was Dude, good. In the just beard. Been That's awesome. Glitter bombed inside. He turned it on and he is now extra sparkly this morning. That was good. That was very okay. good. Okay. All right. All right. So last night um, at around 1 150 or so, um, Raven and I decided we were going to come and prank all the cars. He walked all the way over here and just put glitter in all the vents and stuff. Um, I wrote some stuff on the windows that got washed off by the rain, but it's okay. I put them back. She's savage. She probably sabotaged her car, too. <laughs> Honk if you're gay. When you put Bud Light on hers. Oh, my. <laughs> Why is it brimmed like Oh, she did something. <laughs> We're going to have to pop this hood. I unplugged uh, the throttle position sensor and undid some vacuum lines. We well, we backed it in and that was one of the first things we did was we found we found the plug unplugged. We did not find and we did not know that there was two vacuum leaks on the car though. We, we did not find that until like the very end of this whole challenge. We're going to first open the doors. Wide open. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh my god. Tell us how you feel competitive Rob now that you've been glitter bombed. <laughs> that was that was actually good. I, I What's going it. on with your car? <laughs> I see you stalled multiple times and it's not a Manuel transmission. So. No, it's not a Manuel transmission. What's going on? I don't know. We have to pop the hood and find out. I say out. it's mass airflow unplugged. Okay. Potentially. <laughs> They're going to have 90 seconds to load their vehicle and that starts immediately after we say go. So let's go ahead and get 90 seconds on the clock. That's a minute and a half. This is to simulate the procrastination that happens in college, where we all know you waited till the last minute. So they will have 90 seconds to load their car. Ready? And go. Load your stuff. She has to be seat belted in for her points to count. I kind of had a, a game plan as far as uh, when we saw the headboard and the footboard, I was like, okay, that's going on top of the roof. I was going to grab the table too and stick it up there. I knew the first thing I wanted to get in there was a lamp. And then I just started after that, just started grabbing stuff and throwing it in. 
And from there, we just kind of, we, we didn't even speak to each other. We just literally just, I mean, one thing after another, after another, after another. Watch your head. <laughs> this is like watching a silent film. Our audio is not dead. Go. They're just being incredibly quiet. How much time do they have? Let's get a time check. 37 seconds remaining. Red Strap is not cooperating. Oops, <laughs> that's broken. 18 seconds. Nope, not gonna happen. We're running out of room, bro. <laughs> Squeeze it in. Things are falling. Oh my God. How much time? And stop! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put everything out the other side. Close the doors. Close the doors. Time went by quick. You just like didn't even realize it was about to be over with until Rob shoved the microwave out the other side onto me. <laughs> Saw my rear door would not shut. So I decided to give it a little bump. And unfortunately I pushed more points out than I did in. <laughs> so I kind, of, I kind of messed up on that one, but time was up. It was done. All right. Well, that was very exciting. Close all the doors and trunk, and then we'll be getting in your vehicle. We're going to have to see how much stuff stays on the car in a quick drive. The purpose of that is anything that falls off will be counting against you. This is probably the most interesting thing that's happened on this road is a Honda <laughs> driving down, the, driving down the, the road with a purple dildo on the hood. With the driver holding a blow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my my. Oh my side. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, I guess turn it right there and back up. Yep. The blow up doll is actually kind of impeding the steering wheel a little bit. <laughs> I think it just shifted a little bit. Hadn't fallen off though. Of oh, you're smoking. I'm smoking? I just saw smoke in the back there. She's real. Ooh. Ooh, that was the, uh, that was that up there. I see this bouncing <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that run went pretty good. What do you think? I think it went awesome. I thought it was pretty humorous. How about you? That was pretty damn good. All right, so now what we've got to do is we've got to count all the points that they've won. It looks like nothing fell off the car, so that's fantastic. So all we need to do now is unload the car for the next contestant, and as you unload, show me the items, and we're going to get the point values off of them to total it up to see who won. All right, let's start right back here. Well, maybe we should start on the roof, because that was pretty sketchy driving down the road. <laughs> I thought it worked fine. Oh, God. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, God. That was pretty good. I'm glad the car survived, because I thought for sure y'all had crashed the roof in. All right, what is that? That's All right, what is the point value of that one? It's on the post back there. 40, looks like. 40 points for the lower headboard. 25. 25 for the mini fridge. Mini fridge. 100, 100 for the headboard. <laughs> 10 for a box. I got five for a box. Five for the frozen pizzas, essential diet of a college student. Five for some Cheez Its. Five? Oh, yeah. 30 for a folding table. I was gonna put that on the roof. <laughs> 20. 20 for a bullet hole ridden television. I feel like the price is right, chick, sometimes. The propane tank identifying as a keg, it appears it is worth 60, 60 points for the keg. <laughs> I like the keg. <laughs> We've got the space heater. It's worth 15 points for the space heater. 
It's on the front side here. We're at 10 points for the textbooks. We've got the comically obnoxious lamp. Got to have both pieces. 30 points. 30 points. That in the top. 30 points for the lamp. Five points for the pizza rolls. Got to have that. Pretty sure that's it. It certainly appears that that is everything. Ah, the roommate was seat belted in, so 69, 69 points for the roommate. By technicality, <laughs> it was seat belted in. That was the rule. All right, fantastic. You can go ahead and remove your car, and we're going to count up your points. All right, so we're here with contestant number two. We've got a high score of 419 points to beat from Rob and Chris. So we have Raven and Micah here. Do you think you can beat 419 points? I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, they're gonna go get their car right now, bring it in, and load up the same exact items to try to beat 419 points. Good luck to you both, go get your car. Look at our tire valves. <laughs> oh, great. That's so cute. So when I first came around the corner, I looked at it and I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad. Like there's no, you know, paint marker on the outside. There's no nothing. And then I came and I looked in the window and I was just like, oh my word, there is so much glitter. Oh, wow. Now we're going to see what's happened to their car. Oh, don't be a... <sighs> we saw a jar of glitter sitting on the hood of one of the cars, and we're just like, I was like, that wasn't there last night. The hell did that come from? And then we started looking around us as we were like, oh, oh, we see, we see what happened. There's nothing done to the, to the Corolla, so we went ahead and just, uh, Finished off the entire jar of glitter in the front and back seats of the Corolla. No, that was her fault. She left the glitter on the hood. Let the record state. I said, okay, I have everything I brought. Are we good? And she said, yes, okay? I did forget it. It was dark. It was 2 a.m. I'm working on three hours of sleep. Okay, it seems fine. Ha! <laughs> what do they write back here? Try again. Oh, they found our marker. Okay, cool. Is my ass pretty? <laughs> it's definitely a little sparkly. All right. Here's your items. Are you guys ready to go? We need 90 seconds on a clock. Once we have 90 seconds on a clock, I'll tell you to go. When I tell you to stop, whatever you're still holding does not count. In three, two, one, go. Open the trunk. items were. I knew that the bigger the item, you know, you know, the more points. So I picked out the headboard and um, the chair. And so I grabbed those two things and ran over the car and tried to figure out a way to fit them in. And so I threw um, the headboard on the roof and strapped it down. What'd you do with the ratchet straps? All right, it appears there was some pre-planning happening. Fantastic. Raven. Go, go, you're good, I'm good, go. In hindsight, I really didn't need to do that. And then it, the hook came undone, and so I was trying to get it rehooked underneath. It slammed on the uh -oh. ratcheting part when I tried to close the door. And I was so frustrated, like, ah, I'm wasting time. So I had to loosen it. And then by then, you know, most of the time was up. So Raven did most of the loading. Give me the chair. Three, two, one. On top. <laughs> Time's up, all right. Looks like our roommate is not making it to college this time. She appears to be left over there, but that's all right because we have a full trunk full of crap. Thought we could do a little better, but I feel like I threw a lot of stuff in there while Micah was handling the, the bed frame. But we got the headboard in um, and did a pretty good job, all things considered. The 90 seconds is not a lot of time. I'm very excited. The ratchet strap that is not completely tight is not usable, so you must take that off. Fantastic, that's coming with me. Uh, everything else you can leave right where it is. 
Are we excited about our new test drive here? I know I am. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. What did we leave behind? Only a couple of things. It's pretty good. All right. All right, down the road and back. Did they lose anything? The Honda? Yeah. No. No, they didn't lose anything. I mean, I don't think we're going to lose anything. That, tape, that headboard is strapped in. A lot of clunking. Ah, car's already trashed. I love the dildo in my rear view mirror. I know, that just makes you happy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, that's contestant number two. How do you think you did? I did okay. I think you did. I think we did all right. We didn't get as quite as much, but we did pretty how good. Many, how many points do you think you got? Mm, I don't know. We forgot the blow-up doll existed. Yeah. So. I think we're in the three, you know, 350 to 400 range. Okay, let's start counting. All right, go ahead and start removing items. We're going to call them out to get recorded. Obviously, they got the headboard. That is 100 points. Let's see what we got back here. That's five. Just throw it. Just don't hit Raven in the head with it. <laughs> five. Another five. <laughs> How many points is the TV again? 20. 20. We got 20 points for the television. This is 100 points. Mm -hmm. Is that the mini fridge? I believe that's 25. Let's see. Oh. Does it say 25 on it? I'll let you know. This is 15. <sighs> Heater is 15. 25 for the fridge. Mini fridge is 25. Microwave is 20. Microwave is 20. 10 points for the books. 10 points for textbooks. 10 points to Rippendor. <laughs> that is 60 points for the identifies as a keg. I think that's everything. All right, that's everything. We're gonna have to put up scoreboard, see how many points we got. I'm excited, go ahead and return your car to the challenge area so that contestant number three can begin. All right, so here we are with contestant number three. Scott, how do you think you're going to do against those two other competitors? Rob and Chris set the bar pretty high, so uh, we're gonna try to at, uh, best their score, but uh, number two might be what we get, but. Uh -oh. It definitely won't be number three, I promise you yeah, that. Number three, that would be pretty easy. <laughs> okay, so the scores to beat are 419 points and then 260 points. So you think you're going to fall somewhere in maybe the 300 category? Easily. Yeah. Easily 300? Fold all down right. seats, more space. Mm -hmm. It's Toyota Camry for you, the finest. So, all right, you're going to go get your car and bring it around and we'll see how you do. Let's awesome. do it. Good luck to you. All right. Thanks. I can already see some modifications. So this morning when we uh, first saw the Camry, I knew there would be some pranks afoot. So, was uh, looking out for that, but it looked pretty normal at first glance. Oh, look, there's little wieners. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Like I said, I'm gonna turn the blower motor off before I turn the car on, so. It appears that Team Scott has learned from the glitter bomb of previous. All right, all right. Oh, why'd y'all gotta put the phallus right by the steering wheel? Ugh. And then I sniffed a little something foul in the car and I think it was Laura that found that there has been some type of vertebrate skull in the trunk. All right. There is, there's dead stuff in there. I am, no. <laughs> there's dead stuff in that trunk. Let me see, let me see here. All right. Because we can't be doing that. Yeah. Oh God, it smells so terrible. Oh no. Oh, there's ain't a even touching that. dead carcass in the trunk. As I'm removing the, the, the brain, head, all that from our trunk so that he doesn't have to take part in all that, he forgets that he just said he wasn't going to turn the air vent on. Oh. I forgot about that. No. Oh, because they took the freaking switch out of the dash. That's pretty smart. 
I hate, 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 hate glitter. Anybody that knows me knows they have a, uh, a affliction for glitter because it never goes away. 10 years from now, you could be looking across the floor and see that little shiny piece of glitter in the grout. It just like, it's like roaches and glitter will be here after the apocalypse, but it's all in, in fun. I mean, I'd go home and put the clothes in the wash, but uh, yeah, I kind of knew it would be coming. And then, uh, at least I don't think I got it the worst from what I hear. And it was like, it happened in slow motion. I was like holding brains and like, so that, that was pretty funny. Maybe not as funny for him, but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> That's horrid. The heck we did. It's a oh carpet. God. Put it back Ugh. where it belongs. Yes, you can have it. Throw it. Just over the fence. What? You want it? Go. Get, you can get it. Who wants a carcass? There's a gate over here. Raven. Only you would miss a carcass. Oh God. There's a gate. I use those. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a big fan of the, above the dead brains, but fortunately that smell is no longer with us. Um, but the glitter will forever. Hmm. Here we go. I'm highly suspicious. Well, he's getting a lot closer than they did. That's probably pretty smart. All right. Oh, he's out for revenge now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All Hopefully right, your goal is to load up. as many things as possible. You will only have 90 seconds. Do we have 90 seconds on the clock? 90 seconds ain't 90 much. seconds, I'm gonna give you the go ahead. Are you ready? Three, two, one, begin. Tried to plan out in my head what should go in the car when, but 90 seconds, it's not a lot of time. So once the uh, clock starts ticking, you know, you're just trying to jam stuff in the car. I was very impressed at how much stuff you can pile into a, a vehicle. I'd like to apologize to our roommate for not buckling her in. Laura's got the and the keg, we're good to go. <laughs> Priorities have been straight. <laughs> He's got the fridge. Let's see. It's getting in the car. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not going anywhere in this thing. All right. <laughs> the fridge is broken. Uh, <laughs> 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 ah! Seconds remaining. All right, items on the roof. <sighs> ah. How much time? Ten seconds needs to be strapped down if you want it to count. It's not gonna work. Dang. Watch out, Laura. Throw that here. Time! Ah, oh, so close. You have to be able to shut the doors. And uh, it came down to the wire as to whether we got the big ticket items in the car, but we pulled that off. You think it'll hold? Yeah. If it falls off, it counts against you. That's true, you have to make a choice. Because if it falls off, you lose that point value. Like it is negative 100 points if it falls off. We're good to stay. Go ahead and try to wiggle it. It's good. Ah, ah it's pretty sus. <laughs> oh my! All right, we're gonna go ahead and head down the street to have a gander. I think it's gonna be sent just like this. I'm excited to see how it does. Good luck to you, Scott. Hey, we, we didn't get the chair, did we? Yeah, we did. It's in the truck. As long as they drive really slow. What fun! That that car is just disgusting. But other than that, I've had a blast. Yeah. You got that GoPro? That was nasty. <laughs> I definitely think we got a second place. They did pretty good. I don't know, we didn't want a second yet. Yeah. I didn't see much left. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Oh my god, we made it! <laughs> that is insane. That chair is living on a prayer. That's is all, it? yeah, that's all. <laughs> Alright. 
That was pretty impressive. I think you guys have got this in the bag because you have multiple high point items in here. How do you yeah. think you guys did? I think we killed it. I, yeah. I think y'all did, did too. That pretty was pretty good. awesome. We have an injury. Woo! First injury of the day. It stopped bleeding. Second. But it bled Second. all over my pants. Chris was cut too. Oh, damn. Well, all right. The TV is dangerous. It's going right in the garbage. Um, the moving is dangerous in the college is dangerous stuff. It is. That's true as well. All right, well, let's start unloading. We're going to count off your points and good luck. I think this really, I, I think they've got it. I'm going to. Let's see how they did. Start with the, uh, I'm going to not touch that. He said, I'm going to not touch the thing that stabbed me. Here, watch out. All right. Okay, that one is. How many points is that one? Uh, if it's still on it. It's on the bedpost on the on your left side. Oh, uh, 40 points. 40 points for the footboard. Didn't even need the strap, really. I think we could have done 80 miles an hour without it. 100 points for this one. 100 points for the headboard. The blow up doll. The blow up doll is Woo! 69 points. Oh, we're doing some flashing. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Every college student needs a beanbag chair. Absolutely, that's a point value. 20 points. 20 points! Woo! Beanbag chair is a necessity. That is how I survive. That's my beanbag chair. <laughs> I wonder if this keg's gonna come back out. We'll switch to the trunk. All right. The chair. Yes. How many points for the chair? It's 100 points. Woo! There's a 100 points for the chair. 10 points for a 10 box. 10 points for a big box. And she didn't break a nail, at least I don't think. <laughs> we have a- 15 heater. points for the space heater. All right. Five points for the Cheez-Its box. Woo! Let's see. Gotta have your books. Textbooks, 10 points. Bunch of Chrysler uh, manuals. That's, Gotta have the Chrysler manuals. You need That's a bunch the hardest of manuals subject for study. a Chrysler. So. <laughs> Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls, five points. Ugh. Do we have the frozen pizza as well? Yep, yes. five more points. All right, all right. They're fully kitted out. I'm gonna be a little more slower about removing this we one. We have two kids Yeah, in that was college. a little stabby. Yeah. 20 points for the dangerous TV. TV. Microwave, 20. Microwave, 20 points. Identifies as a keg, 60 points. Woo! Okay, and I think that, is that I everything? This still has propane in it. Or a beer, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All right, that's what we got. All right, that's the end of it. You can go ahead and return your car to the challenge area, um, but cool. All right, we're gonna add up the points and we're gonna see who won. Again, all these point values, as we discussed earlier, are going to be in a 30, 20, 10 split. So it's first, second, third place is what matters. I'm back to you guys at the headquarters. That was quite an impressive feat that just happened. I'll tell you what, uh, I could have used some of these folks to help move me from my last house. <laughs> I really feel bad for Team Scott because they only got 410 points, whereas Rob got 419 points. Well, and if they would have just seatbelted the inflatable in, yeah, well, you know, we so could you could have won, Scott. Technicalities, man. And Team Grumpy Monkey, Raven and Micah. Oh God, well, I really blame the fact that the seats don't lay down in the Corolla. I, I blame that quite a lot. Well, I, I, I really can, the Corolla, in my opinion, uh, overall did excellent. Uh, you know, sometimes you got a guy changing tires that doesn't know what lug nuts are. But anyway, uh, they did fairly well. And, uh, you know, as far as Scott, uh, He's got a hand injury now. Yeah, well. TVs are dangerous, kids. Yes, they are, especially if they seem to have a broken screen. And, I don't know uh, what happened there. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, Rob. What I, teamwork? They didn't even talk to each other. They just loaded the car. Well, that's. That was talk. phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, Rob knows how to pack. I mean, he's got that little. A rice burner, and they go on vacation. <laughs> you you got to know how to pack. He's got to be a Tetris master, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, you know IKEA very well. Oh yeah. Now up next, we're going to be doing a zero to sixty to zero challenge. Now how we're going to be using this in competition is we're going to be using chalk to mark. So we're all going to start at the same starting line, and they're actually heading there now. Uh, what you can do, we're going to start at the starting line that's going to be marked off with chalk. 
They're going to accelerate to 60 miles an hour and then slam on the brakes once they get to 60. And then we're going to mark how far they went. And the person who went the least distance is going to be the winner. That's how we're going to mark it off. And unfortunately, we're not doing it completely loaded with college supplies. No. Well. A little too dangerous. Ah. A little too dangerous. Didn't want any windshields no, busting No, I out. wanted to see some carnage. I man. mean, it would have occurred. That would have been the problem. So I we're... wanted to see that uh, refrigerator hit the windshield. Well, also, we're trying to make the cars as light as possible to perform. I'm sure they're taking stuff out right now as we speak, preparing for the 0 to 60. And it looks like it's about to start. So we go live to the field now. Let's watch this 0 to 60 to 0 challenge. Let's see what happens. I was afraid to floor it because I didn't want to break anything in that little Corolla. Our brakes are still not quite where perfect. I think there's still some air bubbles in the lines. Um, so stopping was a little scary, made a little interesting smell come from the tires, but it stopped. Um, and that Corolla can pick up some speed. It went about 80 on the highway even, so it's got it. Anybody tell them about it? No. What's up? Nothing. After he goes, I'll tell you. Once I launched a little bit, I like towed the brakes a little bit so it'd get a better launch, hit second gear and more glitter flew out of the vents and uh, yeah, under the brakes, I gave it all she had but the tires weren't locking up by no means, but it was, it was a fun try. So really the only thing that I thought then was, um, please don't let my face hit the mirror, the window, because um, I've, I've spent a lot of money on my dental work, um, and uh, don't go off the road. My teeth are still all in my face and we did not go off the road, so I'd, I'd say that was a win. <laughs> we had a feeling that we would probably win that one just because I believe this car is the only one with uh, with VTEC. Yeah, I know. I said it. Honda VTEC. Um, but it got there a lot quicker. And honestly, it's one of those things that when I was actually going, like I was actually manually shifting through the gears, I didn't pay attention to where we were. We had a digital speedometer because our speedometer just bounced all over the place. Did the Honda bounce? And uh, when, I, when I saw 62, I just locked it down. For a split second there, I almost unlocked it, tried to use ABS, and I was like, nah, full send it. I swear towards the end, I just thought we were going into the ditch. Like, it just felt like we were just pulling right there. <laughs> but then when we stopped, I looked up and I saw both cones still down the road a good ways. I knew we had that one. All right, so is that the result you were expecting to see? Because it is not the result I was expecting to see. Well, I'll be real honest with you. It's, when you're talking about these kind of cars, the mileage and everything else, uh, my personal favorite is the uh, grumpy uh, team with the Corolla. I am actually kind of shocked that it didn't do better on the zero to 60 to zero. Uh, I feel like we had some mechanical failure as mentioned um, by the team with some air bubbles in the brake lines. I think that might have helped them out a little bit. But I am incredibly surprised at the Honda's performance. I think Rob just sent that thing like a rocket ship. 
just all the pedal in both directions, going and stopping. I think he scared Chris a little bit there. Well, he probably did. I just I think there's it. some excrement in the seats. Now, um, that is bringing our scorecard up pretty high here. That's our second challenge. So Rob's Garage obviously won the first challenge with the cargo capacity on a technicality, so they got 30 points for that. Scott's team got 20 points for that coming in second place. And then Raven with Grumpy Monkey Garage only brought up the lead with 10 points. Now this challenge here, we had Rob coming in first again. So another 30 points, bringing his total to 60. Scott's Garage got another 20 coming in second. That brings us to 40. And then Team Raven with Grumpy Monkey only got 10 again coming in with 20. So we got a lot of ground to catch up if we're going to have a chance for Team Grumpy Monkey. But I have faith in the Toyota. I do indeed. All well, right, now up next we have a scavenger hunt. Now right now while we're talking to you, the vehicles are all being filled up with fuel and they're going to be testing gas mileage on the scavenger hunt, but they're going to be going around Athens looking for things you might see in Athens. So I've got a bingo card behind me. I'm going to show you here. We've got some things you might see in Athens to cross off your bingo sheet. One is like the Statue of Athena, some landmarks. Uh, the uh, UGA arch is already on there as one of our waypoints, but other things would be a red box, DVD rental, a traffic cone, a dog poop. Uh, a bald man and people in sandals that should not be in sandals. A bullet haircut that can be found. Bald man is easy. Someone crying, that's gonna be hard. Someone vaping easy. Red bar okay, so we're not worried about that. College experience at Georgia G. Empty beer cans. We're gonna find that for sure. So they're going on the scavenger hunt, but they're also looking for waypoints while they're out there. Now we've given them three waypoints that they absolutely have to go to. One of them is the brewery. I'm sure we all visited the brewery while we were in college. You might also have the movie theater. I went on lots of dates to movie theater while I was in the college. And then they, uh, after that, they've got to go to uh, the UGA Arch. You might graduate from there. And that's a lot of places that UGA students might not actually make it that far, but that is on our waypoint list. So and, three popular college places. And those waypoints are verified through photographs or or Indeed. Photographs. They have to take a selfie when they get there, so they, there's proof that they made it there that day. Now, while they're going to these waypoints, they're looking for the scavenger hunt bingo thing, so that'll be good for them, give them an opportunity to find these things, but that also might change their route a little bit. Now, also, once they're done with their waypoints, they're also going to be meeting back at the fourth waypoint. The fourth waypoint is where our ground team will be waiting for them at the donut shop on Atlanta Highway in Athens. So that is the final waypoint where we'll meet up. So there is a first place to arrive award as well. So first person there is going to get credit and then how complete their bingo sheet is and then did they make it to all three waypoints. So right now with one test, they're being tested on three separate things. Well, well first bingo, uh, technically four because of gas mileage. So they're being tested on four things at once. Well, obviously I would have lost this challenge last time because the aliens uh, abducted me. Yep, he did get lost last challenge, and you can watch our last challenge behind me. Just click on this link, and you'll see the first Grumpy Monkey challenge. But make sure you watch it after this one, because things exciting are about to happen. So we had already kind of pranked Scott's car a little bit, uh, but we hadn't really done a whole lot other than the glitter to the Corolla. So I had already had a, a bait launcher that was done with air, compre air compressed air. Um, Chris had hung out the passenger side of the window and it's got a ball valve that you have to turn, but you have to turn it really fast. Chris is kind of an awkward position and when he went to go turn it, he didn't get a good full turn. It kind of just went, and it barely shot the boiled egg out of the cannon. And then he lost the, the tip to the cannon. So that was pretty much the end of that one. I thought that was a funny failure. I just saw something out your window. I'm like, oh, guess it didn't work, loser. Um, I don't know Athens all that well. So we're just going off of Google Maps. We pretty much knew where we would find the items that are on the bingo sheet as we went. Uh, the sandals and a person that shouldn't have sandals on, we found sandals without the person. Um, so yeah, there's some pretty cool interesting. Always when you go through Athens, you're, you're gonna see something that you've never seen before every time. So. All right. Here it is. Yep. Here it is. All right, All right. angle it out the window. I'm gonna get nice like and slow. Oh, hey, we can just, you know. That's, there, that's tap it. it. Tap it. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yep, all right. 
Oh my god. <sighs> the bus. Right. Um, Raven. Raven is terrifying. She drives like a madman, and we did very well on that challenge because of that. But I will not say that I did not fear for my life. Turn, dick. God damn. Come on. Turn. Turn. Damn. Turn. Come on, asshat. Move. Don't get into a wreck. Don't be. She's got some issues. I hope she gets those worked out. Raven, do you have anything to say to your fan base? Why, oh, thank you. I'm gonna beat you when I get home. Uh huh. Just like an old married couple. Where are my cigarettes at, woman? Mm. Yes, dear. Let me go get those. <laughs> what am I doing? This is the right now. Role play. There. Bald man. Going into church. Oh, we got. Yeah, that's one bald man right there. Um, I can jump up. Get a selfie with the with the back side of the theater? Yeah. No, I'm talking about with like the front of it right there. Yeah, All right. That way? Oh, uh, you can go back this way. Or right. that way. Red box. Driving like a mad woman. I appreciate it. You're so welcome. Uh, we can take a selfie with that brick wall right there. That right there. All right, cool. Line it up with my window. Where's your phone? Where is my phone? I don't have it. My phone fell under the seat, which has the. Uh, All right. Destinations on it. Give me the next address. <laughs> you look so awkward. I guess just uh, turn around, come back that way, and I'll jump out and take a picture of it. Did you get self here real quick? We did stop by the brewery place while uh, Laura is carrying a, a blow up doll for effect, you know? And the people at the brewery are like, what in the F is going on here? And so we're pulling back, and it was like, oh no, there's people here. And so we were like, oh God, they're open. And so then I was like, all right, well, you know, we're here and like, we literally have penises all over this car. So like, I mean, we're committed now. So I take our little blow up roommate named Lucy, I think is her name. She's been really quiet. I think she's still mad at us, but Lucy wanted to come with us. So I unbuckled Lucy and I took Lucy with us. Well, I forgot that there was the rubber anatomy thing in her lap. And it fell out. And so, like, I'm trying to be cordial to the people because it's fully open. Like, there's people out there enjoying their Sunday afternoons. And so, the ladies asked, what in the hell are y'all doing? And we're like, okay, so, like, we're doing a challenge. And we were trying to be cordial. Like, hello, this is our blow-up doll. We're doing a challenge. Um, we're doing a classic car challenge. And, you know, we only could spend so much on it. And, like, now we're doing a scavenger hunt. So, thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye. And then I realized the rubber ding-dong is on the ground. And this little boy at the table is like, Mom, what is that? And I was like, hmm. Sorry. And so I was like, we don't have time to explain. Jump in the car. And I'm sure they are still questioning uh, what the hell we were doing. So. 
no shit. We were coming onto loop 10. And I looked to my left, as merging on, and I said, there's no way that that is Scott and Laura. I saw a champagne Camry with no front hubcap and one rear hubcap, and I'm like, there's no way. Saw the righty across the back windshield, recently divorced, and I'm like, that's it. I told Chris, like, open up the center console, get the last egg. <laughs> and we gave it a good old chunk. The look on Laura's face was pretty, was pretty funny when she, when she heard the thud on the door. <laughs> Oh, that's them. <laughs> so they finally connect with a shot. Nice. Good All right. Sunken. Good sunken. And that way we don't have to fight through trap the Take it. All right. Take it. Yep, I yeah, got he's it. got like 20 pictures. All right, I got like 20 of them. All right, to Atlanta Highway! Is that two of you? Isn't it like right here? Yes. I'm gonna park right here for just a second. Gotcha. I took a video. <laughs> oh, she's got, no, no, she, in her hand. She has a dog poop baggie. She does! But no one else gets that Literally. Rob's driving. That was very interesting. He had us slinging all over the truck, all over the car. <laughs> I was creatively driving. I was, or I was kind of aggressively driving, but that's not, but that's not the point. Um, I wanted to get there first. Now, I, I didn't think honestly we were going to win the uh, the gas mileage challenge. I thought, you know, okay, I'm just, this is not going to happen. We got the biggest motor. Supposedly, Toyotas get the best gas mileage out there. I don't know who I'm quoting on that one, but. Uh, I thought we didn't have the gas mileage at all. So I was like, I'm gonna get the Krispy Kreme first, that's it. Whatever we can see along the way, we're gonna see. We're gonna put it on the bingo sheet. Unfortunately, Chris missed one. We pointed it out, but nonetheless, we still probably wouldn't have won it, but. Yeah, there was something that we saw that I didn't mark, but it would have been only one point, so it still wouldn't put us in the first place. By the way, we got back on loop 10 headed here. I saw Scott and Laura did the last day get him. <laughs> did you realize, did you get him? Oh, yeah. do it. <laughs> but did you get it? Right at the right at the passenger side door, you saw it, you I think Laura heard it because she goes. <laughs> but that's the proof. That's the theater. I that's Southern Brewing Company. That's the brewery. That's the art. Holy crap. And that's and it. And there's here. They skipped one. They had to have. We're about to find out. Damn! So odd. <laughs> That's very, very full. Cool. How the heck? Dude, How? He, he literally drove straight here and he got here like eight minutes after us. Oh, so he didn't get any of the other checkpoints. No, yes, the check. He did. No, the checkpoints. Uh, like the arch and stuff? Yeah. They no, had picture evidence. I saw all picture there. evidence. How? You just freaking it. We showed up at the donut place. I think I seen uh, Rob and Chris. Well, basically, you know, the uh, <laughs> the others were just going right into to Krispy Kreme as we pulled in, thinking that we had pretty much all showed up at almost the same time. But I didn't want to abuse the old Camry around Athens and uh, with the police presence that they have around there. So I think every light is on on our dash. <laughs> So we had 13. How many did they have? Thirteen. So we thir we tied. Thirteen. Did you also get thirteen? I believe so. One, two, five. No, these don't count. Those two were a raven, and you said no one in the car. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They tied. <laughs> Jesus. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yep. So we had a rock wrap. So we tied with um, with Rob's team on the bingo challenge. And so we're like, okay, so what are we gonna do? So we decided eventually to just do rock, paper, scissors, and that's how we were gonna decide. All right. Chris right there, get him. All right, rock, paper, scissors, y'all. Rock, paper, y'all tied. 
Best out of three? Let's go best out of three. All right. Out of Come three. on, Michael. What's up? <laughs> Ooh. One, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Second! <laughs> I'll take it. He beat me. I've always been terrible for rock, paper, so you could probably see me stumbling trying to do it in the video. <laughs> it wasn't really that hard to break that tie. Another problem solved by rock, paper, scissors. That's a solution right there. I That was a great scavenger hunt. What do you, what do you think about that? Well, it's a lot more... Um, it's better than, you know, hand grenades and uh, rocks or, you I know. mean, that, that's a better way to solve problems, absolutely. But uh, yeah. I can't believe the story about the brewery. That, that kid is traumatized for life, Team Scott. God. Well, you know, hey, when you're in Athens. <laughs> you're going to see some stuff. Hey, it's a life experience. They're going to put us on the bingo card for their whatever they're doing. That was Quite an experience. Everybody found their waypoints. Let's get down to brass tacks. Who got what points? So, uh, we started off, of course, with Rob at 60 points, with Scott at 40, and with Raven at 20. Now, everybody arriving at the donut shop. Uh, first place to arrive was Rob. He gets 30 points for that. Scott arrived last. That's 10 points for him. Team Raven arrived second, so that's 20 points for them. Brings our new totals to 90, 50, and 40, respectively. Uh, so after that, we have the bingo boards. Now, the bingo boards had to be filled out while they were driving, of course, and we saw some crazy things that they saw. Oh. I can't believe Rob got dog poop. He actually saw a lady carrying dog poop. That was insane. Uh, but anyway, so Rob didn't have his very filled out, so he came in last place with only 10 points, and he was paying rock, paper, scissors against Team Grumpy Monkey for second place, and our team won. So we got 20 points for that. And then, of course, Scott and Laura, they got the most points on their bingo sheet, so 30 points for them. Brings the new totals to 180 and 60, respectively. And it's anybody's game because we still have the fuel economy test. We're going to go fill up these cars. We're doing it right now while we're talking to you, dear viewers. Uh, but in true college car fashion, before we give out awards, we've got to have a graduation ceremony. So we're going to go to graduation now where we'll be handing out the final results of who won the Grumpy Monkey 800. I'm very excited, are you? I think it's going to be quite a ceremony, and uh, I think uh, it's going to be, you know. Uh, this was fantastic. Yeah. I uh, had a good time. This it's going to be better than my graduation from college, I'm sure, because I don't remember most of it. <laughs> well, there's video evidence of this one, so we will definitely be remembering this one. All right, well, let's cut over there and see who won. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished alumni, staff, faculty, and our participants in today's event. I would now like to introduce you to the president of the Grumpy Monkey University, Dr. Grumpy. Yes, thank you, Dr. Brandon. Today we're going to be announcing our graduates, people who have graduated top of their class in our college car challenge, and people that have graduated at all. So let's get started. Um, looks like we have, for third place, we have Team Grumpy Monkey Garage. Come on up, guys. Fantastic. Good work. You got 80 points total after everything. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. Very good. All right. Come over here. Get your awards. Thank you very much, sir. Good participation. Fantastic work with that Corolla trunk. Good stuff. All right. Welcome. Good. Fantastic. All right. Second place. Team Scott with the Camry on second place. Come on up. There you go. <laughs> Not last, indeed. With 90 points, it was a close second. Very barely made it. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Good work on the Camry. Good work on the challenge at all. That was fantastic, all the things that happened there. Come on down. Get your awards. It's going to be hey, fantastic. Thanks. Oh, you get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And in first place, dominating the field, our valedictorian, Rob's Garage. Come on up, guys. Fantastic work. 130 <laughs> points. <laughs> 130 points, sir. Fantastic. Blew the competition away. Come over here and get your award. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much. All right. Congratulations. As you all go forth into the world, continue to buy crap box cars and keep it entertaining. 
Okay, so what do you think gave you that 40 point advantage in lead? Oh, Honda versus Toyota. I feel very offended right now. So seriously though, like, what do you think? What do you think was the, the key deciding factor in your victory? Well, I mean, there's a few things, you know, some people didn't, you know, follow the instructions the way they're supposed to. <laughs> okay. Um, we were a little more aggressive with the braking, as you can probably see. Very smoky, very um, good. We weren't afraid to, you know, do what we needed to do up around Athens, you know, as far as driving and, you know, being aggressive up there, you know. Full sending, as it were. Making sure, you know, we got it. And the funny part is, we actually had a vacuum line unplugged the whole time. We got better gas mileage, probably double gas mileage, what of the air cars. I've did. never seen a Honda Accord get 48 miles to the gallon. That's pretty impressive work you did there. And we were not easy on it at no, all. No, I don't think you were. I, I think it shows in the video some of uh, it was not that easy on it. Chris was very quiet through some of it. Uh, I think my favorite scene with Chris was uh, you doing the zero to 60 to zero and uh, the panic <laughs> from the GoPro camera. I think that was fantastic. I mean, there is a little butthole puckering, but it's good. Fantastic. All right, well, and now on to the real prize, which is waiting outside. You don't just get a trophy this oh. time. So oh, your you whole team, cruiser? you get, no, well, we're getting to that. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go out here. And that's what you get for winning in college. <laughs> you were part of this. All right. So now that you've won in all the ways you can win, <laughs> do you feel like the champion coach now? Yes. <laughs> Forty-eight miles to the gallon. Well, you know that's the thing that has made Honda a strong leader in the uh, automotive industry for 30 years in this country. They produce a solid, well-reliable engine, drive chain. Heresy. And, you know, uh, gas mileage. But my favorite has always been Toyota. I'm sorry. Yeah, they are, they are the best. I've owned many Toyotas, and they may not peak at some of the same gas mileage overall, but they'll kick Honda's Now let's get down to that actually. The next highest gas mileage was Team Raven, the Corolla with 37 miles to the gallon. 37. Now, and then of course we have Team Scott filling up the Camry. Now the Camry had issues with it. There was a couple of vacuum lines disconnected that were not repaired. A couple of check engine lights and some other emissions code which could be contributing to poor gas mileage. But the Camry only got 26 miles to the gallon. Well, that's better than my Volvo. That, that is correct. But that produces us with Team Rob as overall winner. Congratulations, Rob's Garage, on a fantastic victory. Well earned. You even had to change cars and only had a couple of days to fix your second car and still came out ahead. I, I, that's A-plus performance. Very good, very good. We'll give Yay. you a round of applause. Very good, very Plus good. Plus, you didn't have to make a sandwich. They didn't have a making sandwich this time. That's right. There was no yeah, sandwich involved. Yeah, no deli uh, on this one. <laughs> See our first challenge video to get that reference. There was sandwich making involved in the challenges. But overall, I think this was a fantastic experience. We hope to see you next time on a Grumpy Monkey Challenge. Be so sure to what, like and subscribe. So what are you thinking? Um, we do four buys? Either four by fours or a demolition derby of Chrysler products. That's what's on my to-do list. Put us I, a vote in the comments of what you want to see. Yeah, I think we can come up with some fun. It's going to be a good time. We'll see you next time on Grumpy Monkey Garage. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah, I don't know if I'd send my kid to college in one of the cars like this, but you could. I think gas mileage is important to a college student, so uh, it would suit a college student well if it had to. Absolutely. I have a daughter, and I'm way too hot to be a grandma. I'd send her to college in any of those cars. I definitely would send, if all these cars, I'd send my daughter to college in that car, the Honda. God forbid I ever have children, but I have a sister who needs a car, and I would give that to her in a heartbeat. I would, I would trust her with that car. I want to thank everybody, man. It's, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of prep work. It was a lot of planning. It was a lot of schedules to cohere into one, one challenge to get it done. But uh, I think when we all got here, we all started having a good bit of fun, and I think it, uh, I think it turned out great.